Hi, I'm Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. We all think of, as business owners and successful entrepreneurs, procrastination as a dirty word, as something we shouldn't be doing. I'd like to challenge that paradigm. What if you could procrastinate your way to success? What do I mean by that? There are all sorts of things. Think about how many projects you have, whether you keep them all in a notebook or they're on your desk or in your head or wherever they are. How many projects do you have that potentially you could be working on? I probably have 10 or 12 <laughs> at the moment. You, some of you have more, some of you may have less, right? Maybe it's only three. doesn't matter how many. We all have more than one. How many of those things can you do at once? <laughs> Let's as we'd like to think we can work on all of them, we can do one thing at a time. So procrastinating is a very important part of your business. Because you have to be able to focus and take action on the thing that's in front of you and procrastinate or leave everything else sort of in the fringes, sort of out to the side and not do anything with those things. And what that comes down to for many of us is figuring out how to prioritize. How do you prioritize the most important things in your business? What's most profitable? What can you be done quickly? What can be done quickly that's most profitable that also has longevity? See, if you have to keep doing that thing over and over again, maybe, it's on, maybe it doesn't fit the criteria. Maybe it's not the best thing for you to be doing right now. Maybe you procrastinate that right now while you work on this other really profitable program. I'm not talking about procrastinating the work that you're supposed to be doing today, right? You get up and, oh, let's go make a cup of coffee, and, oh, geez, I spilled, and so while I'm doing that, let me do the, you know, do the, the, the rest of the dishes, and then something else happens, and you have to go to the grocery store. I'm not talking about procrastinating working on your business. I'm talking about procrastinating the things that aren't critical that don't have to be done right now. You can procrastinate them yourself, or you can delegate them, to someone else and have them do it. But think about what are the things that you can procrastinate in your business so that you can focus, laser focus, and take massive action today to get some things accomplished so that then you can procrastinate the next thing while you work it and focus on that particular program. If you'd like more information about this or any of the other things that we do, check us out at CompleteMarketingSystems.com. I'm Diane Conklin.